In this video series, we're going to talk about 24 different situations on a table that require 24 different shots. And today, we're talking about this situation. Alright, in today's episode, we are in the following tembo situation. The problem is, we have to play the 5 ball, which is in front of the corner pocket, but we're snookered by the 9 ball and also by the 6 ball. So what we could do, of course, is to play a kick shot, play towards here, and they call, of course, the 5 ball in the corner pocket, but um, if we even make contact with the 5 ball, chances are very low to get a resave. So as you see it, I'm having my jump cue in my hand, and we're actually playing a jump shot. But we're not playing a normal jump shot because of the six ball. We either could try to jump all the way above the six ball as well, not just only the nine ball and make the five. This is possible, but today we're playing a curve jump shot. This means we are trying to aim towards here. The cue ball should then curve and hopefully make the five ball. And if not, we have a very high chance um, to even get the 5 ball safe. If we hit it a bit on this side, 5 ball goes towards here, cue ball travels all around the table, maybe ends here. So, how do we execute this shot? It's actually very easy. You play a normal curve shot by elevating and going to the left or to the right. We want to make a curve to the left. This means we're elevating, playing left spin and aiming approximately towards this line. At some point, if the cue ball is long enough on the cloth, it will curve and hopefully make the five ball or we get a save. So let's see how this looks. And you saw, this time we hit the five ball uh, on the left side and we get a perfect save. Some people would of course say that it was pure luck because we got behind the six ball. Yes, a little bit of luck is of course involved, but that's exactly what we imagined before. So I wouldn't call it luck. So let's try it again and see if we can actually make the five ball this time. So we have to curve a bit more or aim a bit more to the left, but we gotta be careful we don't want to hit that six ball. And you saw, this time we made the five ball and we got a very nice position on the six ball. So from now we could try to run the rack of course and I think we're going to try this now. So let's grab my normal cue and we basically have one more difficult shot left, which is a very long six ball. So we have to concentrate on playing a nice and smooth stop shot, staying down, delivering the cue in a straight line. Very good shot. Now make sure to leave yourself an angle on the eight ball. I think I just want to draw a bit back to then go from the eight ball nicely towards the nine ball. But actually, I think I'm going to follow. This is easier to control. Stood up a bit too fast. This is the perfect angle. Now going perfectly towards the line of the nine ball. Ah, a bit dangerous, a bit too hard. And I also did hit it a bit too thick, but since the rails are slippery, we were able to make the ball. And now just going to check the straight line of the 10 ball which goes from the side pocket to the corner pocket. I'm trying to draw onto this line. A 
Very nice. Straight and shot on the 10 ball. Alright guys, I think again a very cool shot that we just played, the curved jump shot, where we had a chance to make the 5 ball and maybe even get a save with the cue ball. And don't worry, I will make a separate video about jumping the cue ball as well, which will come in the next year. Okay, this is the layout for tomorrow that we're going to talk about, this time not a specific shot, but an interesting uh, position question where we have to get from the 3 ball to the 4 ball to the 5 ball. Okay guys, if you like this lesson, then please, as always, consider to share, comment, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because currently 80% of you that are currently watching this video aren't subscribed to my channel. A huge thank you, of course, as always, goes out to my sponsors, to everyone who's supporting me, especially my patrons. Uh, the link to my Patreon page is down here. And uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, see you at the next lesson. Take care.